known is the Solent Airport, it's a fabulous <coughs> refurbishment of the control tower provision of corporate facilities. Councillor Wood has asked if you can address us on this item, so if you'd like to come forward, Councillor Wood, and I think Councillor Clark might be putting an interest to the chair. Yes, I will call Mr Chairman. Uh, uh, an opportunity interest in that I'm the uh, uh, chairman of the members working group today. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Chairman. Yeah. I'll follow on from, from Councillor Cartwright because I'm on the same panel. Right. And before I introduce the item, does Councillor Wood have any interest in my Thank you, Chairman. Yes, I also sit on the same working group and I will declare a normal personal non community interest because of my uh, the proximity of my parents' house, etc. Okay. Which is also where you live. Yes. Okay. Right. Well, this is a significant part then of bringing forward our, our vision for Daedalus, and there are two significant elements within this. One is the refurbishment of the control tower. It was uh, probably most people would say rather, rather poorly treated during its tenure with the constabulary, and some pretty tasteless cladding slapped on the side of it, and not very much positive done with it, but then it was fulfilling a purpose, which was just to support the police uh, air wing and, and very little else. But now it's in the council's ownership, and obviously to make it a better experience for people. This isn't just for those that want to go and watch the planes go by, and it's a very pleasant experience if they do, and want to go and see what goes on there. But of course it is a working airport, and we do have visiting pilots, we have visiting air crew, and people that would enjoy, I'm sure, a far better experience than that which perhaps they get at the moment. We've got the temporary cabin there, which is a corporate cabin, where uh, people can come and plan their flights and they can get some um, limited amounts of flight information. But I think it is important that we have a better visitor point there, and these proposals would certainly be able to help deliver on that and make it somewhere when people want to visit that they, that they do have a good and pleasant experience there. We've also got the, um, as this is a, a single story element to the control tower which we're looking to refurbish, of course we do have the top of that as well which I'm sure would provide a, a very good viewing area for those that do want to come again and watch the planes go by, which hopefully we'll be able to do something positive with, as well as making the control tower look better. And the other element is the fueling facilities, and that's very important, and that is a very significant source of potential income for any airport, is to sell fuel to the people who are in control of aircraft, and that's uh, whether it be Jet A1 or Aviation Spirit uh, out uh, for helicopters or, or whatever it might be, there is a significant amount of fuel sold at Daedalus in a pretty uncontrolled fashion at the moment and we need to take control of that. 175,000 litres of fuel currently used each year, uh, supplied not by this council, clearly that needs to change. We need to invest in the Bowsers, we need to invest in the um, above ground storage facilities for fuel and I think it's very appropriate that we do so and that will produce a significant income stream to help run the airport at Daedalus and I say that is how every other airport works and it's the airport management that manage the supply of fuel and I think we need to do exactly the same. So I think both of those elements are very important and I do hope that we will be able to get these improvements carried out as soon as possible because of course we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of flying at Daedalus and also of course coming up the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Both of those I think need to see improved facilities at Daedalus for visitors.